Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Just crypto here. I'm going to talk to you about something to uh, prevent from your bank account, your Coinbase account, and other accounts being hacked. It is really important to listen to it, but before I start, I'm going to let this video go. It's just one point, uh, one minute. 32 seconds about DDoS attack. Okay, just listen. Terrible new experience. It stands for distributed denial of service, a kind of attack that turns insecure internet connected devices into sort of a zombie army, which again, fun to say, but definitely bad. My name is Brian Barrett, I'm Wired's news editor, and this is your guide to staying safe on the internet. A DDoS works by harnessing vulnerable devices, sometimes numbering in the millions and using them to flood a website with so much traffic that it crashes. And not just websites either. Uh, remember when the East Coast lost a big chunk of the internet one day last fall? No, well, it, it did, thanks to a DDoS that targeted not individual websites, but a company that provides the infrastructure for those sites. So how do you stop it? Well, you personally probably don't, uh, unless you're a website that might be targeted by activists or hackers or pranksters or look, look you're not a website. And if you were, there are plenty of hosting services that offer DDoS mitigation. The real question is, how do you make sure that your specific devices haven't been enlisted in one of those zombie armies called botnets? First, change your router password. Yes, your router has a password. And botnets usually take advantage of devices that stick with the default, the one it shipped with. Next, while you're in there anyway, disable a feature called universal plug and play in your router settings. It's like a little loophole that lets attackers in, and you won't miss it when it's gone. Honestly, that's about what it takes, or at least it's a good first step. It won't stop a DDoS from taking down your favorite site, but at least you won't be part of the problem. Okay, that was the video about DDoS because I didn't know what DDoS was, and now I know it. I hope that you know it uh, also. But uh, the real problem is that uh, the use of 2FA uh, verification that's really important. Uh, the next video I'm going to show you is about just taking care not to get hacked on your um, on your telephone device. Okay, just let me go to this side because they have yeah they have that given a warning. Bitcoin wallet hacked via SMS interception. Okay, I go to this uh, site because just uh, yes. okay. It doesn't have a voice, so I'm going to read it for you. Okay, first of all, uh, the source uses email as a login. Okay, he knows your email. Okay, then uh, the hacker uses password recovery via email to get the victim's credition, credentials. credentials. Since the hacker knows the phone number, because they know your phone number, he can intercept a, a, an SMS with an account recovery code using SS7 vulnerability. The hacker does some preliminary technical action to collect info about the victim. And now we can intercept the victim's SMS. So when they um, when from a Coinbase, for example, send you SMS verification, they just intercept it and they use it for their act. The hacker inputs the phone number in this uh, Google recovery. Inputs a name and surname. Because a recovery code via SMS and wait for SMS with a recovery code. The SMS is intercepted. And then they go to Gmail account again, enter the code. And then, voila, they have, they have to intercept your email, uh, your SMS once more time. And then they go to your 
uh, your your email the gmail there in this case the second sms is also intercepted the one they get from google and then they verify that they are who they are and they put a new password <laughs> done okay voila they got to your email they have full access to your email account at now okay and then, then they go to coinbase they're going to sign with the uh, email with the G gmail address email address and the password recovery the hacker initiate the password recovery procedure for the bitcoin wallet and they go to the email which they have hacked And then the information goes to back to Coinbase. They sign in your email. They have the password, and they make uh, they reset the password, their own password. And voila, they are in your Coinbase account, and the hacker have full access to the Bitcoin wallet now, and now they can wipe you clean so please be careful with everything you do when you get um, don't use try not to use sms recovery use the uh, authentication google authentication and when you are going to uh, sign for uh, for account you get a you get an uh, uh, the QR code and just make a copy of it and then put it somewhere safe okay I hope this video is um, useful for you and uh, the best thing is just to put all your Bitcoin or all your currency cryptocurrencies on the um, Um, ledger ledger wallet and out of the net out of the net cold cold uh, safe because it is the only way that you you shouldn't be really with this with your money with your bitcoin with your cryptocurrencies on the net because it is vulnerable it can be hacked but when it is just out of the net you see nobody can hack this one it is out of the system so you can use this one or that is a normal um, device to to save the information but the best thing to have your bitcoin wallet on the ledger a ledger i have the link here below so you can use the ledger in order to save your your bitcoin and all the other coins that you want to save okay i hope this is useful for you the link for the ledger is below and don't forget today is the the day you can buy just let me see go there and let me see where i was just let me uh you can go to crypto exchanger that is the best one I have ever seen the best just let me I use my okay that is two one six seven four two it is the ICO is going to start today you see here in 28th November between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock GMT okay Greenwich Mean Time 
just uh, watch out what time it is for you because it I, I like it first of all you can hide your email address with this one there's uh, security aspect of this really uh, nice one and uh, I have landed them um, in, a in the beginning of this uh, ICO I lend them uh, 0.3458 BTC and I get BTC I don't care about USD I get BTC you see total profit I think I have done it for two weeks 0 0.719 and it's going to stop when I have 150 percent of my uh, my uh, what, what I put in okay so this really works they have their own exchange and it is the best ICO ever that is that is my my best so I'm going to, I'm, I've got 15 uh, uh, 1530 I'm, I'm going to buy more you see you cannot you cannot put uh, money or Bitcoin in only when they allow you when do when they uh, uh, when the window of opportunity window of buying opens then you can just um, put Bitcoin in okay the price is now 1.87 but I think it worth it to buy because it's really a good uh, ICO my link is below I hope this video is useful for you and if you like it please subscribe thumbs up and share it uh, for other people maybe can use uh, this video thank you very much for watching sayonara